Welcome back and Merry Christmas. This is your 12 days of Google Christmas. So we've been counting backwards the top 12 Google search terms that have biblical relevance for Christmas. We're up to number 10. The question is, what is hell? There are three points I want to make about this. The first one is everyone who currently exists and everyone who has exist will exist eternally, either in heaven or in hell. We get that out of Daniel chapter 12, just two verses there right here. It says this, many of those who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake, these to everlasting life, but to the others to disgrace and everlasting contempt. Those who have insight will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven. Those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Number two, every person has but one life that will determine their destiny. We get that out of Hebrews chapter 9. It says this, Inasmuch as it is appointed for men to die once, and after this comes the judgment. The third point that the Bible makes in regards to hell is that every person has a choice to make that determines whether they spend eternity in heaven or eternity in hell, and that is the relationship with the Savior, Jesus Christ. We, of course, get that out of one of the most famous Bible verses that you memorize in Sunday school. John 3.16, it says... For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So a quick recap. Every person is eternal one way or the other. Every person's life determines where they wind up. And the third point is that each and every person has the choice to accept Christ as their savior, securing their place in heaven and not hell. Well, Merry Christmas. I hope that you are enjoying our 12 days of Google Christmas. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.